Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, we're here in Key Biscayne with Alex. Beautiful, hello. And as a precursor to my next YouTube video, Parfums de Marley Herod versus the new Tony Iommi by Zerzhov. I wanted to get a live reaction. She sent me a message on Instagram, said, hey, let's do some photos. If you guys don't know, I do a lot of photography, shooting models, and I said, all right. And she's like, how much do you want? And I said, you just have to do a YouTube video with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, done deal. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to spray Herod first and then I'll have her smell Tony Iommi and we'll see which one a Miami supermodel likes better. <laughs> yes. Make sure to follow her on Instagram as well so that you can see all the amazing photos that we did. Absolutely. All right, okay. so this is Parfums de Marley Herod. It's right. kind of an old school fragrance. It's been around for a while. Mm. But it's a very sweet, tobacco fragrance, very cinnamony. Yeah, it reminds me of like apple pie. Yeah. Okay, I love. And also just a total side question, but just gonna ask because you're here. Would you wear that as a woman? Honestly, yeah, I would. I would wear this. I, I love warm scents. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of sexy, yeah. kind of like Mysterious cozy. And, and yeah. Like, yeah, I love this type of scent. I always recommend women to wear more masculine leaning mm. fragrances sometimes. All right, so the next one that we have here, I just have a sample of Tony Iommi by Zerzhov, another fragrance that I recommend very often for men. This one just came out last year and it seems to be really picking up popularity recently. So we are going to see which one you think is better. Mm. It's a little different, okay. kind of the same vibe, but this one has like a rum note, it's boozier. Mm. Oh, it's yeah, not it as is, sweet. It is kind of like, Rum. I don't know. I would wear this as a woman too. Yeah, I would. So I these are technically really men's fragrances. Yeah, in the in this world, the niche fragrance world, things are technically marketed as unisex. But okay. yes, this one, the, both of these are more directed towards men. Men wear them more than women. But technically, it's all unisex. Oh, it's tough. I don't know. I think I have my decision. All right, what's your decision? Which one do you like better? The first one. First one. Yeah. Herod. Herod, yes. What? Why? What? What is it? It's that... just for me. It's like softer. It's this one's really. It's a little more. If I were to like smell it, I'd be like, oh, that's. I would call it strong. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, oh, that's. You could smell kind of like your smell is strong. Yeah. But not bad or anything. It's just. It does smell like almost like kind of liquor y. But yeah. It's like sexy rock and roll. This. That, yeah. This fragrance, uh, Tony Iommi is a collaboration with, the brand is called Zerzhov. It's a collaboration with, I believe it's the guitarist of Black Sabbath. Oh, really? Tony Iommi is his name, yeah. Yeah, okay, wait, I've, I think I've heard of that. I, that name sounds so familiar, so I was like, yeah. I could see that being like, smoky room, like rock music playing. So you think the hair is better for you personally, but on a man? I think on a man, like, yeah. probably. The Tony Iommi? Yeah. Okay. I think so, yeah. I love them both equally, they're amazing, but I do agree with so you, I think that Herod, by Parfums to Marley, I got this like in my pants. <laughs> I think Herod is definitely better for a woman, yeah. but also very sexy on a man. Yeah, it would be really sexy, yeah. Awesome, well thank you so much. We just of wanna course. get your opinion. Yes. <laughs> Make sure to follow her on Instagram, link below. Check and me out. look out for the full blown review between the two. Yes. Bye. Bye.